to another edition of Museum Makes. Today we're being inspired by some of our seascape paintings that feature in Artastic. We're going to make a really cute paper boat using an origami technique. And to, all you need for this to make the basic boat is some paper. Now, I've got some rather nice craft paper here, but you could use any kind of paper you find at home, newspaper, jotter paper, an old magazine. You'll still end up with a beautiful boat which actually might float on some water. So the first step is to fold your paper in half and the thing about origami is you've got to be quite precise and remember to fold and smooth out all the joints. Then we're going to open it back up again and we're going to fold it in half the other way. Now you can see I'm using a rectangle of paper and that's really important. We don't want square origami paper for this particular um, technique. So then we're going to turn it over and actually we're going to go back and fold it in half this way. Here we go. And that's because I want the beautiful pattern side of my paper here to be on the outside of my boat. The next job is we're going to, you can see the centre line, we're going to just fold it both top corners into the centre line. So that's one. Smooth it really carefully. I find it really quite satisfying to smooth these lines when I'm doing this kind of activity. Now this is the open end and we're going to fold the top flap up and smooth it. Turn it over and can you see we've got two little triangles. We're just going to fold those triangles in and it tucks in those edges and keeps it nice and clean. And then we're going to fold up the other bottom flap just to the same size. And it starts to look a little bit like something already. In fact, you could use this as an origami hat, but we're not going to do that. Now there are two tricky bits in this fold and this is the first one. So we have our triangular shape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and hold the center line at each side and I'm just going to make it into a diamond. So if you watch carefully, there we go, diamond shaped. And again, we've got to just push down on these edges. I'm going to turn it over and do the same on the other side. And that's our diamond shape. The next set, so the next set, the next instruction is quite simple. So we're just going to turn it into a triangle again. So fold up the front flap, squash it down. It's getting a little bit more difficult to make it nice and smooth, these folds, because the paper's folded so much. But it still works. And I'll turn it over and I'm going to do the other side. There we go. So we're back to our triangle shape. This is the second slightly difficult bit. We're going to turn it into a diamond again, but it's the same principle. We're just going to open the middle, hold it with both fingers and thumbs, and we'll pull it open and turn it into a diamond. And again, I'm just going to give it a good old smooth down on both sides. And then let the magic happen. If you look at the very top, if you pinch the top outside corners with your finger and thumbs and pull it open, you start to get your boat shape. And you just have to do a little bit of pulling and tweaking, maybe a little bit of smoothing along that bottom fold. And you can see that you've made a boat. And the thicker your paper that you use, the more likely it will be to sit up. Now, if you want to turn, you could just keep your boat like that. If you want to turn it into a sailing boat like I've done, all I used was one of these little cocktail skewers and the first thing really is to very gently and carefully, watch your fingers, is to poke it up through the middle and out the top. Now you could leave it like that if you want but I thought it would be better to secure it with a little bit of sellotape. So I've just cut some sellotape here and you can just see inside a little bit of sellotape on the bottom of that cocktail stick. Now the last thing it's going to need is a little flag. So I've just got a little scrap of paper here 
I'm going to fold it in half with my scissors and I'm going to cut it into a little boat flag shape. I think we'll do a different shape to the other one. Then we need to just get some glue stick, glue and put glue all over here, making sure that you get it in the very middle which is going to stick onto the cocktail stick. And then you just wrap that round your cocktail stick, squish it together and there you go. One paper boat. If you've enjoyed making these cute origami paper boats, perhaps you'd like to make a whole flotilla and turn it into paper boat bunting like we've done here. Go on, have a go. Happy making!